Hey everyone, I wanted to thank you for stopping by the classroom today. I wanted to take a minute and show you one of the original splice on the fly splice tapes. It's called double splice tape and you basically pinched the splice around both sides of the tape, top and bottom. It was originally designed for punched paper tape, although people do use it for embossed tape as well. I'm going to show you in the video how to do this while the feeder is on the machine and the machine is still running. In the demonstration, I'll take the time to show you how to do it on embossed tape and paper tape. Let's take a look. I wanted to show you one of the original splice on the fly systems called double splice tape. First we're going to cut the tape again using the scissors with the alignment block 4 millimeter and 2 millimeter pitch. This tape is 4 millimeter pitch so we'll put it into the cutters. Cuts right down the center of the pocket. Then you want to go to your splice tape and use tear, uh, peel off the one side that has protective tape. You'll see here we have dimples to help us align the tape when we do it. Basically you splice the tape coming up to the machine. This is made to do right at the machine. You put it on this piece coming up to the machine. Splice it to the piece that's already on the machine after you remove the reel. And you align it with the sprocket hole like this. Take off the protective tape. There's a perforation there for perfect alignment. You don't have to look what's going on behind the tape. You remove the protective tape and we have a nice secure splice. Then when you pull the cover tape back, it pulls both pieces back like that. And you still have a piece on the bottom cover tape. Then when you go to the embossed pocketed tape, it's the same thing. We want to cut it with the four millimeter pitch. And this will cut right between the pockets. When you go to put it on, again, you peel back half of your protective tape. Bring the piece up that's coming to the machine, like so. Splice it together with the piece that's already on the machine, like this. Pull off your protective cover tape. Push it around the back, and it affixes to the bottom right on top of the pockets. Pull the protective tape off. Again, you have a nice, secure splice. And you pull the cover tape off. I want to thank everybody for stopping by the classroom today. Please remember that Smart Splice is the only full-service tape splicing company in the industry, and we back that claim with video meetings, webinars, and even a personal visit from yours truly, Professor Splice. All you need to do is contact me at the university or right here. Thank you.